I'm, I'm actually not too nervous, to be honest. You know, I've had a few incidents in my career. <laughs> well, she'll be a great mum. She'll be good at that, I know. We want to be playing on the last day of September and want to win it. My morning routine is wake up, turn my alarm off, walk straight here, put the coffee machine on, jump in the shower, finish with a cold shower of course, been doing that since I was eight. Someone told me about it, I just stick with it. Um, give the champ a hug and Georgia. <laughs> um, and then make my way out here, and this is what you pay seven or eight dollars for at most cafes, especially Melbourne. I feel like the coffees are a bit more expensive there. Um, I'll just do it myself, so you'll, you'll get a good taste. Move after the West Coast game, so that'll be, that's not too far away, a month, uh, six weeks or something, so just gotta do it. Spare bedrooms for my mum and her mum now, so they can come up and help with the baby, which would be good. I'm, I'm actually not too nervous, to be honest. I mean, I'm nervous for Georgia, but no. Um, <laughs> um, no, nah, I'll just sort of take it as it comes. I haven't overthought it. I think that maybe, I don't know, maybe you're supposed to, but I haven't. But, um, it'll be good. It'll be good fun. Are you to, um, to Cogs or anyone else? Yeah, a lot. And I'll, I imagine I'll be asking him plenty of questions. Wardy, Hainsey and Keefe are about to go through the same thing as well. Um, and then obviously a lot, all the coaches have got kids as well, so they've been um, really accommodating. There'll be plenty, plenty of plenty of help around. Georgia, Georgia's always been big on kids, so I, I had to get my head around it probably more than her. Um, so I'm starting to now, I guess. Uh, I've got about two days to really soak it in. Well, we went to school together, Wesley College. Success has a purple lining, um, and then. Oh, we, we went together in school though, towards the end we, we were getting close and then um, she went to America for basketball, played at Gonzaga, did that for five years, so we, we, we went together then. Um, she got back probably like five years ago, and well, probably six or seven years now, and we got back together maybe th four or five years ago. So yeah, we've gone from there, gone from there and got our first kid on the way, so. Um, it's just blossomed nicely, mate. <laughs> How would you describe Georgia? Um, Knowing that she's going to watch this. <laughs> um, well, she'll be a great mum. She'll be good at that, I know. Um, she's, she's quite um, determined, quite headstrong. Um, she's very caring. Got a lot of her, her best friends are really close. Um, She's not as social as me. She doesn't like going to as many social events and hanging out with friends as much as what I do. Um, she loves sitting on the couch and watching Netflix. I can't do too much of that. Um, but um, no, she's she's awesome. She's an awesome mum to Oreo as well. Um, she's uh, super caring. Like a lot of her work that she's done. Um, has been with kids, like sort of disadvantaged kids as well, that, you know, super impressive and the things she does is um, pretty special. And I'm sure she'll get back into that after, after the kid as well, so, um, no, she's been good. Georgia writes me a list before I go to bed, because I don't do the couch sometimes. Well, we're in the end season schedule now, so it's all changed. Um, we start, well, still start main days, sort of the same time, get there about seven. Um, but a lot, obviously a lot less training, it's not as intense. Um, throughout the year, once the season gets going, a lot more recovery and obviously our grand finals on the weekend, so you get up for that. Um, but yeah, training today, start at seven, get there at seven. Uh, get ready for training, a bit of, phys I think I got physio, and then um, 
Well, yeah, we got we'll have team meetings once we, once we start playing opposition, or we are this week. So, I think we got a meeting. The Swans preview. I can't imagine be previewing too much about the Swans though, um, for the practice match, and then but in season it's pretty detailed and structured. Um, and then we'll break into lines and talk about you know our aspects as lines as well. So, it, um, a lot more meetings in season, a lot more detail. Um, obviously, not as taxing on the body. The training, but um, you got games which are, which is I guess what you train for all pre-season. So, all right, mate. You get a big breakfast with some almond milk because there's some left over. Oreo right, gets the good stuff. Good boy, mate. He's had a lot of wheat picks. Really? Because <laughs> I, I didn't eat them all. I like to hear um, the world views of, of 2GP in the morning. <laughs> lived with Aiden Kaur and Lockie Plowman for a few, fair few years. I lived with Aiden Kaur for a while. Um, we were sort of like Jamoy and Balmain, then like Ramwick sort of. Um, Apples was great to live with. He just had a kid actually as well. Um, yeah, so we were together for like three or four, four or five years. Um, then, then we went. Oh, then we went to the hub. Oh no, then, no, then I was with with Tommy Sheridan. That was hard work. Um, well, I guess I've already been a father in some respects, living with him. <laughs> Um, but he's a good man, Tommy. Super positive, so it was always. Um, well, we we're always up and about. That's for sure. Well, if you if you read that list before, I don't. I, I don't tuck the couch in before bed, which is big on. Um, well, she chose the couch. It's white, and Oreo f***ed it. So. Um, so then we have to put sheets on it, which is just annoying. Um, actually, and Himmel spilt wine on it day one, so he ruined it. So if someone wants to buy the couch, they can. <laughs> we're getting a new one. Um, nah, we learned our lesson the hard way. It was actually more Himmel, actually. There's a big red wine stain. Um, uh, yeah, so that, and then... Um, well, she's a lot, she's very clean, so I just sort of let her get to work, so maybe I could do a bit more, but um, that, that would probably be the two main things she'd say, along with a few others. And then I guess the whole footy department changed at the end of 2022, and it was, um, oh, all the coaches have been great to work with. Um, Lades is my forwards coach, so I do obviously spend a lot of time with him, but Hardy and Cripper and Juice Davenport, Brett Montgomery, they've all been great to work with. Um, all those guys who came at the end of 22, um, and then Kingers especially. Um, everything we do is different, I guess. The way we train, the drills we do, how we play, I guess some beliefs and standards. And, you know, everyone's got their own, so they're all different. Um, and he, and he drives a pretty um, hard bargain in terms of pre-season. You know, that's been really solid. Uh, probably, um, yeah, hope, you know, hopefully set up for a good year um, once you get through it. But it, he's been great to work with, to be honest. I've learned so much off him already. And even just like little forward craft stuff, there's stuff that I'd never thought of. And he's been super helpful for that. Um, so he's, um, no, and then I guess the game plan and the way the boys bought in last year and pr throughout pre-season, it's been, um, it's been awesome and, you know, footy's really enjoyable and, um, we, yeah, we're expecting, we want to build and have, be playing, I guess, late in September, so that's what pre-season's sort of been about. It's not, not easy, not given to you, so, um, that's, that's, what we'll, that's what we'll be aiming to do. Hopefully start well against Swans this week. Not that 
no one really cares who wins, but you just want to play the right way, play the Giants' way. No, nah, I'll be uh, I'll be in hospital holding George's hand on Thursday. The boys will be um, will be playing at I think it's Tramways, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. How do you reckon you've seen your, your progression in terms of I guess your, your public perception in the last two years? Yeah, I, I mean it's certainly changed. Um, can change pretty quickly as well. So um, um, you just got to be careful what you do on the field, I guess, especially in big games um, when everyone's watching. But it has, it, yeah, it's changed. And, you know, it didn't really, I guess I was lucky, it didn't really rattle me too much. Some of the negative stuff that um, has been said over the years, um, I think, like, it can certainly affect some. He's aim on, he wants to, um, he'll be asking who's playing for the Giants on Thursday. You trying to get you trying to get team info? You yeah, need the uh, ins and outs. Are you not getting them, mate? Wait till the team sheet comes out. <laughs> what time? <laughs> <laughs> oh, how's, how's Georgie going, mate? How's she feeling? Nah, she's good. She's on Thursday. Thursday yeah. Thursday's the day, so we'll be um we'll be in the hospital. So you you've been there, obviously. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, she was. Yeah, That's be big, isn't it? Yeah, be good. Be good. She just wants to get it done now. Yeah, nice one. Nah, all good there, mate. Will you enjoy that uh, a day in the life and uh, any uh, any info comes across um, send it over, mate? Yeah, mate. Well, you, you're not tagging, are you? You're not in a practice match? Yeah, we'll probably we'll probably tag a couple. <laughs> <laughs> I'll um I'll speak to you soon. Good man. See you, brother. See, See you boys, mate. Oh, at the end of 2021, when I, you know. Um, accidentally walk into an umpire. Um, it was um, oh, that was pretty heavy. You know, there was a lot of um, negative stuff being said. There. It was more. It's harder for Georgia and Mum though. Oh, I mean, sort of accepted. And I've had a few incidents in my career that you know you can't worry about too much about what other people are saying, or you it'll really affect you. Um, and I think I've seen that with players over the last few years because um, it can be all encompassing, but. Um, that's who it affects more. Mum and you know she's a school teacher, so all the kids are, are letting her know what's going on. And then um, Georgia as well, who, who takes it to heart. So um, I guess they enjoy when people say nice things as well. So, um, but it's, it's the uh, it's the game you play. So you got to um, yeah, it is what it is. And you know, hopefully people say more nice things than bad, but it doesn't always work like that. Oh, I mean. It'd be massive in, for the club, I guess. Well, you've seen the Suns and the Giants since like new teams have come into the league. You know, they've they've never played finals, so it's it's not easy. Um, uh, we've you know we've been contending for you know a few years, and obviously got I reckon last year's as close as we've ever been. You know, in terms of being close to the best team, so. Um, Oh, it would just do huge things for footy in Sydney, footy in Western Sydney. Um, you know, starting to see a lot of growth now, especially post-COVID, where there was a, probably a bit of a lull. And um, I think the AFL would say that that footy suffered a lot in New South Wales during COVID. To see the Swans and Giants go well, you know, this year hopefully um, would be massive. And you know, we want to go all the way. We got we don't hide our aspirations. That's where we, we want to be playing on the last day of September and want to win it so um, that's what we're working towards and that's what pre-season's been all about um, but the, you know there's no guarantees that you fin- make finals or that you finish top four so um, that's why you play you know it's, you work hard and that's why it means so much but you also when you fall short it, it, it does hurt last year was you know burned and, um, but you like you I guess you never move on but you you move on quickly in terms of get going and New year, new uh, aspirations, and new um, and new players come in. But there's eight or nine teams that'll be saying the same thing. So um, we got lots of work to do, lots of work. The Taylor Swift um, merchandise opens tomorrow, so we pretty keen to get a t-shirt actually. Just, I'm not, but I've, I feel like I should be at the event because it's so big. Um, Georgia. Is having a baby, so that's why I can't go. Um, but um, 
I would have definitely gone otherwise. It looks pretty epic. She puts on a fair show by all reports. There's Keefe in the, in the out. He's had that for 25 years, that car. It's, it's a modern mystery how it's still going. But Get out of the way, kid. <laughs> How are you? He said, just be careful with what you say, mate. Yeah, so I said the wall here, build a wall. You've been a snapshot of your tool. My toes aren't too bad. Are you training with me after? Okay, yeah. Well, I'm going to do extra. We'll get, we'll get Sash. You come here, mate. <laughs> nah. I'm just interviewing the good staff at the club. <laughs> this is a stitch up. It is, isn't it? <laughs> this is such a You'll be busy today, mate. What do you got? You're in here early? 7.45. Yeah. He doesn't usually rock up till 9. Yeah, tra no, we're in here at 5.45. Oh, you were? Yeah, set up for okay. the NFL training. Yeah. Okay, that's good, mate. Yeah. That's good. Staff work hard. What do you got on today? Well, we got the team meeting at 8. Oh, I think it would usually like game review for a main session, but a game preview. Uh, we got the Swans in a pracky match, so I'm not sure what they'll go through here. But um, it'll be probably more about us, how we want to play. That's sort of what pre-season games are about anyway. Um, it'll, be a few, it'll be sort of a trial run, I guess, for, uh, for in-season. So usually we split into groups and go through you know, a pretty detailed preview of who we're playing. So it'll be a bit about that, I reckon. You shouldn't have that though. Well, I used to wear two pairs of socks, that's why I used to have 12s. But now I don't. <laughs> Up and down, I'm on and through. Happy then I'm paralyzed by other moves. Temporary pleasures running out of fuel. Chasing worry, chasing program. Distorted the ways of the world again. Good decisions, wishing I knew more of them. Concepts of you and who I am. I feel something. We got um, Joey and Adam put on the big spread. Uh, what do we got today? We got the chili con carne and the grilled chicken thigh. <laughs> I don't know what I'm feeling like. Like a watch from now, ball's getting kicked, changes direction. You change half a second before and it's just and it's just good reading the footy. Yeah. Forwards always read it better. Yeah, I kind of. No, like when he kicks it, you get forward a little bit. It's good contest by Cads. Like now, I'll probably go. No, now you're in. A, no, you react. That's great. That's a great reaction. Yeah. Like if we're clean there, the, the ball's going forward. Yeah. You be um. You're doing a lot of good things. So come in for that Gold Coast game, just... Yeah, just, fingers crossed. Yeah, you'll be fine. Just yeah. turn it on. Yeah. Use your strengths. Yeah. All that other stuff, more, you know, more footy you play. You missed the whole year last year. Yeah. Like, the, the more footy you play, you're just going to keep making better and better decisions. Yeah. It's fine. Yeah. It's good. Well, we just went through some um, stuff with Dars, just watching a quarter. I reckon it's always good to watch behind the goals and playing in the forward line and just looking if you're running good patterns and your reaction. Um, so we're just doing a bit of that stuff with him. He's, he's going really good though, and um, he might not play on Thursday, but hopefully playing the Gold Coast game and, and go from there. But he's he's pretty electric. Look forward to watching him get to work. Um, he's got weights in the arvo and, and a bit of recovery in touch. That's about it. So cruising. I don't know. Put love story on.
tracks. He's got some tracks. He's got a lot of tracks. <laughs> I like her when she's in town. Well, it's a good conversation. Um, I think Ronaldo, but Halo's making a play for it. I, I think Ronaldo, but it's getting close. Yeah, but it's getting close. Yeah, and when the when the Super Bowl was on. I said post Super Bowl, she's really big. All weights coaches love weights. Hey, we do too many of them. Well, so we just had weights in the afternoon and um, a bit of recording stuff, but pretty uh, yeah, short and sharp weights and then well, so we have a bit of touch, a bit of, bit of craft, and that was about it. And then you'd usually watch a bit of vision leading into your opponent, but I'm not playing, so I'll be, uh, I'll be jumping the ice bath and heading home. Yep, so just doing my recovery scuba diving here. Uh, Oreo will look out for me, he always looks out for sharks, so it should be sweet, but you just never know. Chris is amazing, yeah.